Hi, so this is a 20 minute version of this week's class. Today is March 15th. Yes, March 15th. And so it's a 20 minute version of the class. The full version, an hour, has lots more of everything. We're just, I'm just going to take little bits of each. Okay, so let's start lying on our back and completely relax. Take a couple of deep breaths here, dropping in. Letting go of your day. Relax your shoulders. And now very carefully bend your knees. Place your feet flat on the floor. And let's inhale. And as you exhale, pelvic floor lifts. Your lower abs, ribs draw in. Exhaling through your mouth. We'll take two breaths where we fully relax and inhale. So as you inhale, I want you to feel the ribs, the belly, fully expand, pelvic floor relaxes. As you exhale, through the mouth, navel draws to the spine, ribs draw in and knit towards each other. So one more with the full expansion on the inhale. Fill up, navel expands, ribs expand, pelvic floor relaxes. And exhale, engage, pelvic floor lifts, navel to spine. So now keep that activation. See, can you make a level of core activation, pelvic floor lifting, navel to spine. Inhale, just the ribs expand. Exhale, lift and sink. Inhale, just the ribs expand. And exhale, lift pelvic floor, sink the navel. Let's articulate to the spine to a bridge. Inhale. As you exhale, impress the lower back into the floor and come all the way up. Feel the knees lengthening away from you, ribs in. Inhale. Exhale, articulate down. Lovely. Do two more. Inhale. Exhale, come all the way up. Inhale here. Exhale, coming all the way down. Last one, inhale. Exhale, all the way up. Inhale here. And exhale, all the way down. Really nice. Interlace the hands, make a hammock for your head. Behind, thumbs facing down. Take an inhale. And exhale, chest lift. We're going to do 10 of them. Elbows stay wide. As you exhale, lift the pelvic floor, scoop the navel, push the head into the hands. So you do not want that the neck and shoulders are leading the movement. Your abdominals are lifting and the spine is lengthening. Pelvis, tailbone are not changing their position whatsoever. So lengthening in the vertebrae. There's six. Elbows wide, sink. Seven and eight, nine and ten. Super, come all the way down, right leg lifts as you lift up and then rotate to the right. One, we'll do five and rotate two and rotate three. And four, get as high as you can. And last one, five. Let's go to the other side. Inhale, right leg down. As you exhale, left leg up and rotate towards the left. One. And two. And, three. and four. Five. Let's four on the right now. Exhale for four. And three, and two, and one. Let's go for the left, four, four. As you exhale through your mouth, lift and squeeze, three, two, head pushing into the hands, and one. Let's do three on the right. Exhale, three, two, and one, super, three on the left.
exhale. One, two, and three. Two, right. One, and two. Two on the left. One, and two. One on the right. One, and one on the left. One, super. Both legs up into tabletop. Lift the head and shoulders. Take an inhale. As you exhale, crisscross. So rotate to the right, left leg extends. Inhale, both knees in. Exhaling, rotate. Elbows stay wide. And two, we're gonna go for 10 on the side. And two. And three. Three. And four. Four. Five. Five, six, six, seven. You got it. Check for activation. Eight and eight. Two more. Nine and nine and ten and ten. super extend leg long. Reach the arms overhead. Inhale, look at your toes, use the elbows, or don't use the elbows, whichever works for you. I always adapt to suit your body. Inhale, push the spine into the floor as you roll up. Reaching forward, neck back. Inhale, straighten, and then tailbone goes under. Exhale, roll down. Inhale, reach forward, look at the toes, flex feet, thighs are active. Exhale, roll. Inhale up. Exhale, roll back. More. Inhale, look to your toes. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, roll back. Super. Let's come up to sitting. So inhale, look to your toes. Exhale, roll up. We'll do some tricep dips. So fingers facing in towards your um, feet. So fingertips facing towards your feet and lift up, tuck the tailbone, chest is wide, bend the elbows, one and two. Inhale down, exhale up, three. Inhale, exhale, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Super. So now fingertips facing out. And here you have two options. You can do a reverse tabletop or the swing. I'll show you a couple of the reverse tabletops and then I'll show you the swing. So inhale and then exhale. Lift all the way up. Hips, shoulders and knees in line. Inhale. Tip to the floor. Exhale. Lift two. Inhale. Lift three. Maybe we'll do five of and five swings and four and last one five so the swing fingertips facing towards your feet again and knees are bent so you're going to inhale up and as you exhale the bum doesn't touch the floor you bring the legs all the way back behind lovely and then keep going with the reverse tabletop or join me with the swing whichever works for your body and two inhale up Exhale, three. Inhale up, exhale, four. Inhale up, exhale, five. Let's hold, five, four, three, two, one, and coming down. Excellent, really nice. Okay, so let's come onto all fours. We'll do a little bit of movement here on all fours. So beneath your shoulders, knees beneath your head. Inhale, and as you exhale, the right hand slides behind the left and come down onto your temple. Turn those left ribs towards the ceiling. Inhale, back up, right hand forward and sink down. Inhale up, right hand on your lower back and turn. Super, right hand down as you inhale. 
Now, as you exhale, lift the pelvic floor and left arm slides, ribs drawing to the right. Inhale back up, left arm forward, sink down. Inhale up, left hand to your lower back and rotate. Excellent. So let's come on to the forearms. Well, actually, no, we stay on the hands. So left arm is going to reach up as you inhale. And as you exhale, it's going to turn. Left hand goes under and coming down. Just five of them. Inhale, open. Exhaling, going under. Two. Inhale, open. Exhale, under. Three. Inhale, open. Excellent. Exhale, under. Four. Last one. Inhale, open. And exhale, under. Five. Put both hands down, go to the other side. So inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, or the other side for you, whichever was the opposite, it doesn't matter which side. Arm reaches up, really open. And then as you exhale, rotate. Bring it down, there's two, three to go. And rotate, three. In, open, exhale, four. And last one, inhale, open, exhaling, five. Great job, excellent. Okay, so come on to all fours, stay on all fours and just hover your knees. Just a couple of inches off the floor, tail under, navel to spine, pelvic floor lifts. And breathe here. Strong work. Push with your hands. So we're going to go from this hovering position into a bent knee down dog. So it's inhale and then exhale into your bent knee down dog. We'll do five. Inhale, hover. Exhale, two. And three. Four. And five. Super. Coming all the way down. So now bring the hands forward, lift the knees, come into a plank. So inhale and inhale, plank with straight leg. Exhale to down dog with straight legs. Let's do five. Inhale forward. Exhale down dog. Two. Inhale forward. Exhale down dog. Three. Inhale forward. Down dog. Four. And forward, down dog five. Excellent. So let's do this series. So come lying on your side, head resting on your um, head resting on your hand, and we're going to externally rotate the legs. So think of Mary Poppins, who I. So the bottom leg, the toes are pointing down towards the floor. So it's externally rotating that bottom leg. And then the heels come together. So the left, the top leg, the toes are pointing up. So there's an external rotation, squeeze through the legs and feel that whole back chain working. Really nice, I meant to say, right? So torso is in line with the mat, but the legs are a little bit stepped forward of the hips. Yeah, really nice. So that external rotation, bottom waist lifts, navel to spine. Pelvic floor lifts, hands on your waist, or you can put your hand in front of you, no movement in the torso. Inhale, bring the leg up. Exhale, bring it down for one. Relax your shoulders. Squeeze as you exhale. Two, squeeze those thighs together when you come down. And three. And four. Five. We're going to go for 10. Six. Seven, eight, squeeze the thighs, nine, and 10. Great, bend both your knees. Now extend the top leg parallel. Bring the leg forward, tap, and bring it back. And see, can you extend it back behind without falling over, right? Great, bring it forward, two taps, one, two, and now bring it all the way back. That's it. Hand can be in front, on your hip, on your head, doesn't matter. 
Bring it forward for three taps. One, two, three. Navel to spine, and then bring it back. Really nice. Bring it forward for four, three, two, one. And now bring it all the way back. Lovely, we're gonna go for 10, right? Forward for five, six, four, three, two, one, and bring it all the way back. Yep, excellent. For six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and now bring it back. Yes, excellent, leg is in parallel. So bring it forward for a seven, six, navel to spine, five, four, three, two, one, and bring it back. Lovely. And now forward for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, two to go. Nice control, check. Pelvic floor lifts, navel to spine, shoulders relaxed, ribs in. And nine, eight, lift it nice and high each time. Seven, nice control. And six, five, nothing casual, right? Four, precision. Three, two, and one. Starting to burn. Let's do the last one, so 10. Let's go. Bring it all the way forward. For 10 and 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent. Little fist, get it in there. Let's go straight to the other side. Actually, before we go to the side, let's just do a few um, hip dips in plank. So come onto your forearms. So knees can be down or knees lifted. Okay, so inhale. And as you exhale, hips rotate to one side. Inhale, exhale, rotate. There's one. And two. We go for five each side. And three. Excellent. And four. Last one. And five. Great job. Let's go straight to the other side. No rest, right? In these uh, just quick 20 minutes, get straight to work. So let's do that external rotation first. So nice straight line with the mat, hip over hip, shoulder over shoulder, knee over knee, and then bring the, from the hips, hinge it forward. So the legs are um, stepped forward of the um, hips. Lovely. Now, Mary Poppins legs. So bottom leg, toes pointing down, top toes pointing up. So squeeze the thighs together, tailbone under. Think of your top hip lengthening away from the ribs. So this immediately has that effect on the bottom waist of slightly lifting it, still in contact with the floor, right? But it's not resting heavily. So there's this strong accentuation of the top hip away from the ribs. That's it. Pelvic floor lifts, navel to spine. Point the toes, bring it up. Exhale down one. Exhale down two, exhale down three, exhale down four, and five, and six, seven, go for ten, eight, nine, shoulders relaxed, and ten. Now bend both knees and then extend the top leg. Bring it forward and one tap, and then bring it back and see, can you extend it behind? Lovely. Bring it forward and more two taps, and then see, can you extend it back? Bring it forward, three taps, one, two, three, and then lengthen it back. Four taps, nice controlled, one, lift it high, Two, three, and four. Super. And now bring it back. Excellent. 
and forward for five, four, three, two, one, extend it back. And now bring it forward for six, five, four, three, two, one. Lovely, bring it back. And for seven. So seven, six, five, four, nice control. Three, check everything's activated. Two, one. Lovely. Let's go for eight. So one, two, relax those shoulders. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Lovely. Two left. I know it's really burning. Bring the leg back. Nice control. Excellent. Let's go for nine, nine, and eight, and seven. Navel to spine. Six, pelvic floor lifts. Five, four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way back. And last one for 10. So 10 and nine and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Bend your knee, little fist and get in there. Super, we'll do a little bit of back extension and then we'll do a little bit more articulation up and down. So coming onto your belly, right forearm is on the floor, left arm extends, pubic bone into the mat, navel to spine. As you inhale, left arm, chest and right leg. As you inhale, they come down. Inhale up. Exhale down, pubic bone into the mat, navel to spine as you exhale. And three. Lift up. Exhale, four. Last one. Exhale, five. So we're going to alternate now. Leave the leg down as you inhale, chest and arm lifts. Do exhale coming, they're coming down and the leg lifts. One. Inhale, chest and arm. Exhale, leg, two, inhale, exhale, three, inhale, chest and arm lift, exhale, leg lifts, four, last one, and five. So now chest, arm, and leg all lifted. As you inhale, the arm comes to the side and the leg goes out to the side, one, and inhale out. Exhale, two. Inhale out. Exhale, three. Inhale out. Exhale, four. Last one. Inhale out. Exhale, five. Great job coming all the way down. And let's switch arms. So now, left forearm is bent. Right hand is extending back. So as we inhale, everything rises. Chest, right arm, and left leg. As we exhale, they come down. One. And two, pubic bone pressing in, navel to spine as you exhale, three. And think of length in the spine, four. Leg is lengthening away from you, five. Let's alternate, chest and arm lifts as you inhale. As you exhale, the leg lifts. Alternate, inhale, exhale, leg, two. Inhale, exhale, leg, three. Inhale, exhale, leg, four. Inhale, exhale, leg, five. And now chest, arm and leg all lifted. Inhale out to the side. Exhale back in, one. And two. And three. And four and five. Great job. Hands reach your shoulders. Push back into child's pose. Stretch out the lower back. Breathe into your lower back. 
One more breath here. Really nice. Hands towards your knee, tuck your toes, and come into a forward folding position. Knees are bent. Swing to the side. And now, a little bend in the knees, up the tailbone, arms and head like a up. Slowly roll up the vertebrae, vertebrae. Inhale, and exhale, tuck the chin and roll down. Inhale here, exhale, roll up. Two more. Inhale when you're up, exhale, tuck the chin and roll down. Inhale here, exhale, roll up. Last one, and roll down. And then I'll stack the vertebrae one at a time, come to standing. And let's finish with three movements of the spine. So feet hip distance as you arch, as you inhale, chest forward, tailbone back, and as you exhale and round. So the shoulders stay over the hips. Inhale, arch, tuck the tailbone around the shoulders. Inhale, arch, exhale, round. Three movements of the spine. Such a magnificent sequence of movements to do on a daily basis. Last one of the arching and flexing. Flexion extension comes to the side and now lateral. So exhale, lean, inhale, center. Exhale, lean, two more. One more each side. In the morning, when you're waiting for your kettle to boil, do your three movements of the spine. Exhale, rotate, keep the hips facing forward like you have two spotlights on your frontal hip bones and they have to continue to face forward as you rotate to the side. So these three movements wake up to all the um, ways that the spine can move, whereas all the muscles so that they're awakened. And so we're less likely to be injured when the muscles have been activated, great movement to do in the middle of the day, even if you've been sitting a lot. Super. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Thank you for joining me.